Uh, my name is Vincent Weza. This is Listings to Leave. And this is our class on how to get more listings, top, top tools to get more listings. Okay. And just to, before we get started, Listings to Leads is a full real estate advertising platform for realtors that will help you market your listings, a lot of automation. We have a lot of content for social media. We can totally up your game on social media and also help you capture leads from companies like Facebook and Instagram. We have software from them and we also have software from Google. So we're able to run ads on some of the leading websites in the country, as well as auto post your listings over to YouTube and Twitter and LinkedIn and stuff like that. We have a lot of, we have 80 PDF guides. We're going to talk about some of those today. We have unlimited landing pages. We're going to talk about those today. And like I did say earlier, we do have Google software, um, which when it comes to listings, it's something that you should be thinking about. So let me ask that question to everybody here. Who here has run ads on Google before? Just yes or no in the chat panel, please. While we're waiting for that answer, I'm going to take us over to the number one tool for getting listing leads that turn into listing contracts. So we're going to talk here for about an hour about all the tools that create listing leads. But the highest quality ones actually come from one tool. And that is what we call the nearby homeowner letter. So I'm on the listings page. I click on market listing. The nearby homeowner letter is a piece of paper. It's so funny because I'm talking to so many people and people literally tell me like, oh, print is dead, right? And I know that the internet has been around for a while, but I also know that the highest quality listing leads that we generate for our clients come from this piece of paper. We call it the nearby homeowner letter. It's not very sexy, but it's very straightforward. I think that's why it's so successful. Our clients use this, some clients use it once per listing, but our best clients who get the most listings use this twice per listing when it's just listed. And then again, they, when the home is sold, when it's just sold, it's always going to say, Hey, we're selling a home in your neighborhood. Click here to go there. And actually it's not click here. It's take this piece of paper to your own computer and type that in and go find out about it. Right. I will capture you as a lead when you do that. But then we also say when that home is sold. That's going to affect your home value. So type in this web address and get your free home value, right? So you've probably seen a page like this. There have been plenty of companies creating home valuation landing pages for nearly 10 years now. And most agents have learned that you can run ads on Facebook and get leads this way. And five years ago, that was really an awesome thing to do until Facebook got spanked by HUD. And now you can't target anybody on Facebook. So this has become not a very great exercise for capturing leads, meaning running an ad on Facebook to pages like this. But if you drive people to a page like this from this piece of paper, the lead quality is very high. And how do you do that? You, first of all, the best thing to do is to buy a list of homeowners in this, in the area that you want. This home is in Granite Bay. So let's assume that you're trying to develop Granite Bay as a bar market. You should buy a list of homeowners from wherever you can get that so that you're sending these letters to these people at least once a month, if not every two weeks, you can borrow a listing. You might not have a lot of listings in those areas, but you still want to develop it. You just go over to the listings page and you add a listing, you grab it. And then now all those tools are created. So while we were talking or while I've been talking. I asked the question, who's run ads on Google and two people said yes. So I'm going to assume the rest of you have not. And this is why I'm mentioning this when a lot of our clients are familiar with Facebook and they're even familiar with ads on Facebook and they have been very successful and we have been very successful in helping our clients get leads from Facebook. And let me click on this here and see if my web browser will go somewhere. What's cool about Facebook is American adults spend 40 minutes a day on this website. They just scroll through here and they see all their friends and they're traveling and their kids and all that stuff and what they're eating and all that great stuff. And that's what makes Facebook so awesome that we spend 40 minutes every day. The average American adult spends 70, 70% 70 of American adults spend 40 minutes a day cruising through this page. 
And when you run an ad, whether it's using us or somebody else, it's right here on this listings page, right? Or right here on this newsfeed. So that's cool because people spend 40 minutes a day here and you say, Hey, would you like your home value? Or I got an open house or I got home listed. Like, great. Yeah. I wasn't thinking about it, but yes, since you're putting it right here in front of me, I'm going to click on it and you're going to capture it. But when people have a question, like, I wonder where the best hotel is in Miami or the best steak in New York, or how do I sell my home? They don't go ask those questions on Facebook. They ask them right here on this website. It's the number one website in the United States and in the world. And 86% of all questions begin here. And a question that's re relevant to this discussion is how do I sell my home? Now there's all kinds of keywords that you can do, but we can see here, I just typed in, how do I sell my home? I'm sitting in Northern California. And somebody here, the Maple Home Buyer, has paid for those words. That's how do I sell my home? That's like the keywords that they want to be there. There's Home Light down here. They've got a sponsor down. So since I did that search in this area, Google is serving up these ads, right? And I want to point that out because when somebody wants to sell their home, they come here first. They don't go over here and start looking for answers on how I sell my home. That's just not what's going on. And you should be thinking about that if you really want listings in your business. We'll look at that, but I just want to drop those things first. What we've talked about so far is the number one tool is actually a piece of paper called the nearby home lawyer letter. You can borrow listings here, grab active listing. So if you've got a colleague or somebody in your office that wants to let you market their home, grab it, going to sit here click on market listing and you will see all these things that we do, but the number one tool for getting listing leads is called a nearby homeowner letter. And you can see here, we have integration with a company called express copy. And I'll point it out to you because they do what our best clients do. And this is now this has costs. Like we don't get a cup or anything of that cost. You choose the letter that you want. There are three versions of the same thing. You email it to express copy. And you say, I want 100 or 200 pieces to go to this neighborhood, right? This zip code or in this city. And I want those people to have owned a home at least five or seven or 10 years, right? So now you're mailing this to a targeted group of people with equity. If you're doing that consistently, at some point, they're going to open this and they're going to walk to their own computer and type in that web address and give you their, their listings, right? Their listing information. And that is a great way. That's the best way of capturing listing leads and high quality leads, right? So there's also an electronic version here called the eFlyer for your database. And it, if you've got a big CRM with hundreds or thousands of leads, copy the code and it's going to say, Hey, in this case it's pending, but it could also say it's open house or it's just listed or sold. And so you click here and go find out about that home from your email. And it will always say when that home is sold, it will affect your home value. And if you go there, we're going to land on a landing page with a listing. List. This is something you should be using probably every week in your CRM, especially if you have hundreds or thousands of leads, because I'm going to just guess that your CRM drip campaign is not getting your phone ringing. This is also not going to make your phone ring, but it's going to reactivate those leads because if they want to find their home value or go check out this home, they can easily click drop here and we've got lead capture over here where I'm pushing it. Okay. So e flyer for your database. Another thing to think of and is called the seller social media. Now this home is pending and we have, this is actually not designed for you, the realtor to use. It's designed for you to forward. We email this tool to you. And we tell you, Hey, take this message and forward it to your client, your homeowner and call them for five seconds and tell them to put it on their wall. Right now, a lot of you won't be ready for that. I understand that, but that is what it's meant. That's how, meant, how it's meant to be used. And I'm going to show you why you want to use it just the way that we sold it or just the way that we created it. 
I'm pretty sure you as realtors have figured out how to share stuff on social media, right? I see agents all over the place. Some super colorful, cool stuff on social media. What they haven't really figured out is how to capture leads, right? And so that's where we come in. So this message, we're going to email to you. You should open that email. Anytime you get a listing, anytime you change the status, we're going to send this to you. Now you should actually use this tool when it's just listed. If you do an open house, do it again when it's open house. And you should definitely use it when it's sold. And you can see why right here. It says our home is sold and we want to recommend you at your office for doing an excellent job. And here's your phone number and email in front of every, all of my friends and family on Facebook and colleagues. And it's sold, right? So it's like a pre-written testimonial designed for your client to put on their social media. And if one of their friends or family sees this and thinks, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'm thinking of selling my home. They might click on it. And when they click on it, they're going to land on this page. And that could be really cool. And the call to action that will pop up will be offering a free home value. What's nice about this is you're not just capturing a random lead from somewhere on the internet. You're capturing it from the sphere of influence of your current clients, right? And that's what makes it a higher quality lead. Also, this is not a paid ad. This is something that your client puts out on their wall and it will stay there forever. And so our clients are often surprised, like months later, one of their client, one of their clients, relatives logs into Facebook and goes and see that they've got a home set and becomes a listing lead from something that had been out months, months. Ago. If I see a question here, feel free to throw them in. Do you have one for buyers? Do I have one for buyers? I have a Facebook ad. If someone bought a home. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So you're helping the buyer's agent, right? You're helping the buyer. What you want to do is you want to get the listing in your account. You might have to do it manually unless it's active for sale. You can grab it and then you can change this. Oh, sorry. I hit the wrong button. The status, this says sold by selling agent, right? Just sold by selling agent. And then it will give you those tools that we're talking about right here. And definitely I recommend that. I definitely recommend Okay. So those are the kinds of tools that are created when you are, that are inside the listings page. One really important tool here. Sorry, I clicked something. One really important tool is up here. And let's see here, man, I don't know my computer or my browser. It's maybe I need to clear my cache. It's got this weird thing, but on top of the listings, it says create listing presentation. You should all go do this as soon as you can go and click that button and a download here, print it and leave it on your desk. Because if you're new to us, you don't know half of what we have. And even if you've been with us for a long time, you're gonna probably forget or never learn what we have. But this is meant for you to leave behind at a listing presentation. And frankly, it's really tough to compete with, okay? It's 27 pages long. It shows everything that we do. It doesn't talk about listings to leads. It just says, these are the things I bring to the table to sell your home. It doesn't mention that half of this stuff we're doing automatically in the background, that you're actually not even lifting a finger. It does say, this is everything I'm doing to sell your home. And I definitely recommend that you get familiar with this and you use it when you're on a listing presentation. Okay. So that's the listing presentation. It's up there. We're going to keep talking about the other ways to capture listing leads, but that's the few ways that are related to your particular listings. I want to point out the landing page section over here. And this is really important because if you are a realtor building a, a business in multiple towns, you're going to want a property valuation plus landing page. This is a property valuation plus landing. It's really our free home value landing page. We'll just have a funny name for it. And most of you are building a business in like four or five different communities. You want to have one of these for every one of those. 
So how do you create that? You go to landing pages, you click create landing page and you click on property valuation plus, and then you type in the name of the tail. And once you've done that, we create a generic looking page like this. And I really caution you to not go out on the internet or in mail, driving people to a page that is generic and asking them for their address and contact information. It doesn't work very well. Okay. And what you want is you want to, we drop you on this editor. And the first thing we do is we ask you to change the background picture. And that is really key to making things work, right? Because remember what's going on here. Let's see, maybe I have a picture. When you're asking somebody, can I have your information and can I have your, your, your address on the internet and they don't know you, well, I'm pretty sure you don't ask questions too often. I'm pretty sure you're not like, oh yeah, I'm going to, here's a website. I'm just going to give them my contact information online. I just, I don't think you would do that. And, but kind of what a lot of agents expect, they expect, Hey, I'm going to just lob something out that looks super generic and ask them for their most coveted information. The short story is to make this work, you want to make, you want to have a background picture of something that resonates with that area. And I set up the office and team accounts around the country. And I do this call for all of our office clients, right? And I remember when I set up Coldwell Banker in Summit, New Jersey, the owner called me and said, well, we're getting all kinds of leads. This is awesome. But the number one landing page for home value leads is the one with Summit Diner in the background. Now, Summit, New Jersey has about 22,000 people, small town in New Jersey. And this page was the one that was getting people most comfortable. Now you can see this is where you go and you have your, you know, your greasy potatoes and eggs and all that stuff. And so in Summit Diner, Summit, New Jersey, right? And that's what you want to convey when you're saying, hey, I can help you sell your home. Because this little coffee cup and pen and, and laptop, that's not really conveying that you know their area. So take a moment and get a picture that's like 1800 pixels wide or 2000 pixels wide and upload it here. And once you've done that, you're ready to start marketing, right? So here we've got one for Pacific Grove. I'm going to click on edit and tools again. It's the green button at the bottom. And once you've like upgraded your page so that it's got a picture that looks, that resonates with your local market, you want to click on advanced options up here on the top. And from here, you'll see print marketing. And here is a letter that you can customize. And it talks about the homes that were sold last month. Just update a couple of data points and get this in the market. So remember how I showed you the nearby homeowner letter and I said, this is super strong. You can send this once a month, right? And then market a home through the letter, the other alternating two weeks. This would be super smart. It's basically, hey, let's get people to a page where they can become a listing. Right? So we have it in a letter format. We also have it in postcard format. And we also have it in door hanger format. And you might want to test out what's working the most. I know it's cheaper to send out postcards, but I know some of us throw out postcards before it even gets in the house, right? So will they open a letter? Maybe is there something you can do to make sure that they open that letter? There are things you can do. So that's just a really great way of using a landing page, which is print, right? So that's there in advanced options. And I definitely recommend that you're using that. Let's go back to, so let's not forget, you do need to have multiple ones for all of your area. And we now know that we can get people to these landing pages with print. There are also these PDF guides. Okay. And there are 80 PDF guides. And I would recommend, there's a little playbook here. I would download this because this is a little bit of a cheat sheet of, let's just look at it. And I think it's a really simple one, but I'm going to walk through it anyway. Run Facebook ads, run Google ads, do a short form video, social media post, email to your database, postcards, call analysis, right? This is what you should do with the seller PDF, right? 
So for some of you, just having this as a reminder sitting on your desk might be beneficial, right? But if you click here where it says buyer guides, you're going to see all 40 PDF guides for home buyer. Click here, you're going to see all 40 PDFs for home sellers. Now, if you want, you can download these right here and you're going to notice that you as the agent are branded on every page of every guide. So this is good for your branding. It's also good to just have out there as a resource so that people start to recognize you're a real estate resource. I see a question here. Let's take that question. Yeah, Donald has a good question. Would it not be a good idea to put it in a direct Facebook group? Yeah, it might work out in a group. Sure, yeah. And let's get in. So let's talk about the ways to market a PDF. So let's assume that you find one that you want to go out with, right? You have access to all of them. You can download them right here. And I will tell you this. You remember how I was telling you, like, this is like a top tool. This is the nearby homeowner letter. And you should like work on this. One of the things that our clients do is they leave, they do leave behinds, right? If they have an address from a good lead coming off of this, they will go over to our PDF guides and they'll print one and put it in an envelope and just drop it off. Say, hey, I was in your neighborhood. Thought you might want to see this. It's just, again, you're just creating value until they're ready to really sit down and have a conversation and sign a contract. I do scan headlines all the time and I do hear that foreclosures are right. So let's talk about how we can get this out. We download it here. But if I click the market button, you'll see that we've got a short form video script area. This is really smart if you're into the social media area like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook. Short videos about this report could help people download that report, right? From here, you can actually run an ad on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll show you a little more about that. But actually, let's just finish it because the gentleman that was just asking is saying, wouldn't this be? What he was saying was, could we put it in a group? And there might be groups where that's relevant, right? And so you could, but what this is going to do is it's going to run an ad on Facebook and everybody's going to see it. Now I will point out, and this has more to do with Facebook ads. Facebook ads are, are called pay-per-click. So what we have is a $50 ad for seven days. And every time somebody clicks and you capture a lead, Facebook's going to charge off a, a bite off a little bit of that money, that 50 bucks. And we have seen that seller leads, which is, this is what this would capture, can often cost $10 a lead on Facebook. Okay. So if you've got 50 bucks and they're charging you 10 per lead, you're probably going to have like five leads at some point. Right. And once they give you their information and this auto populates name, email, and phone number. So this is a great way to, to capture leads. Then they can download the report. I do want to caution you that sometimes I'm seeing people charge $30 a lead. And that's obviously a much, that's a Big white, wide spread there. I'm not really too crazy about. You can also do a social media post, which means you can click here and this will go out to your social media networks, right? It looks like this. All you got to do is click post now. But I want you to, I want to point out, I'm going to show you a way to do this. Like right here, it says it was auto posted. So if I click here, this tells us that we are automatically posting this. And that's what this looks like here. So this is automatically done by our system. I'll show you in a minute how to do it on it. If you want to do it by hand, click that button and then go down here and click post now. But I think automation is always a good way to go. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Then we have eFlyer for your database. So again, if you've got thousands of people in your CRM, you could use that. There are print flyers to get people to this, to get them to download. And there are postcards and door hangers. All of these solutions here all drive to this page. So the gentleman who was saying, hey, can we use this in a group? I would put this in a group because if they want to download this, they're going to have to give you their address and possibly talk about when they're thinking of selling, right? And then they can download that guide. So whether you're using a postcard, a print flyer, even the e-flyer for the database or the social media post, they are all going to point to that landing page. So you're going to have multiple ways of capturing contact information before they download that report. Okay. So we've got PDF guides. There are 40 of them for homeowners. You should be leaning on those. And 
Oh, I do want to talk about the social. So the social page is really cool because this will automatically post content to your social media accounts. And it's, you connect the social media accounts where you want stuff to go. You tell us how often you want us to post, and then you choose the topics. And a lot of these topics are like real estate related, right? Holidays, home, quotes, outdoor, right? But these PDF guides for sellers, you can just check this button right here and we will auto post these with the landing pages to your social media account so you don't have to. So if you want to do it by hand, I just showed you where just a couple minutes ago, if you want us to do it for you automatically, click that little button right there and we will start auto posting those as well as any of this other cool content, right? So that's about PDF guides and the social page. Let's talk about ads. Now ads is, there's a lot to know here, right? One, just high level, Facebook leads are cool and easy and low expensive and less expensive. And Google leads are more expensive. And the reason that I think that's really the case is when we're capturing a lead on Facebook, we're just randomly looking at stuff, right? Where are friends, where, what are they doing? What are they eating? Where are they traveling to now? Right. That's, and then you're like, oh, Hey, do you want to get your home value? This is an ad right here. Selling some super cool t-shirts, right? Your ad just shows up just like that. And so that can work, right? But when somebody has a question, they ask that question over here on Google. And that's often why Google ads or Google leads cost more than Facebook leads. But there's a lot of people who, and I talk to realtors all the time, I've spoken to teams who say, hey, we convert one out of 70 Facebook leads, but we convert one out of 40 Google leads because they're higher quality because we're answering a specific query that they're looking for. So. We'll show you how to do that in just a moment. When it comes to getting listings on Facebook, there are three ways to get listing. One is by run, uh, listing leads. Run. One is by running an ad on a home that is pending. And this is like something that not a lot of people leave on lead ads. So we get name, email, and phone number, click create an ad. And we write the ad. It says, Hey, that home is pending. When it closes, it's going to affect your home, right? Now, if you publish that, it's a $50 ad for seven days. One thing about pending ads, I, one, I don't know if your MLS allows it. Two, I don't know if you're comfortable with it. But three, Facebook doesn't quite know how to price this kind of ad. And because of that, our clients often get seller leads of name, email, and phone number for as little as $2.50 even $2.40 per lead. So if you're running a $50 ad, if you remember, I was telling you the PDF guides, you could get leads for $10 each. That means you'd get five leads. But if you're getting these leads with the same name, email, and phone number of homeowners for due to $2.50, you're going to end up with like 20 leads. So your money goes a different length. It goes, it just goes further if you're doing this kind of ad. You can also run an ad Let's see if I can get there. Go too far. On sold. And that's where a lot of agents, they do recognize like, oh yeah, I need it. I would say seller agents know, like if you want more listings, run ads on your sold properties, right? Somebody here was mentioning she's helping somebody buy a home. So she knows it's going to close tomorrow. So she's going to market it as sold. And here's how you would do it. You get the property in there. You change the property is sold whenever it's sold. And instead of pending, here's one here that's sold. And we leave it on lead ad. So we get pre-populated name, email, and phone number. And you click create ad. And the ad will be all written. It says, hey, that so home is sold. It affects your home value. Click here to get your free home value. Boom. That's how you do that, right? It's very simple. These leads, again, it's a $50 ad for seven days. These leads often cost six to $7 each. So you divide that into 50 and get some ballpark from how many things to it. Those are the kinds of ads to mark listings. I did mention that you can run an ad for PDF guides. This is a really great place to do that. You can say, Hey, I want to run it on sellers because we're trying to get listings here. 
and I don't know, I'm going to do divorce, lead ads, and you the program. I think in this one, you do have to take an extra step, and that will be to run your, or type in the name of uh, the town. Now, Reno, Nevada is a big place for divorce. Just a, a little fact. But anyway, boom, you can do that, right? You can go here. I think like Vegas is probably a big place to live because they're both in Nevada. Again, this is a PDF guide. And that means that those leads are going to probably cost anywhere from 10 to $30 each. So pricey, but if you don't have any listings, you want to get something out there to get some conversations going, that's a good way. Then there's the landing pages. And I want to be really cautious because real church have been running out like this for nearly 10 years. Let's just do the base free only. Because of that, Facebook knows that this is a coveted type of app, right? And I'll, let's just type in Berkeley, California. So the problem with this is because Facebook knows that realtors love it, they charge the most for these leads. And I've seen these leads cost 12 to $15 each. There's also another very important, bigger problem is you can't target less than 15 mile radius. So that means your ad can be overshooting and make it less effective, make it not very effective. Now, just in case you don't know where this says real estate test, this is actually going to be your business page. So the ad, the branding and everything, when the hundreds and thousands of people see these ads, you're building your brand. When you capture the leads only going to you. Okay. But I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I did. I, before the call started, I was talking about our YouTube channel, which is where we put all our recordings. You will see that we have, I do one here for get started. There's one over here for top tools for more listings, which is what we're talking about today. And then there's another one on Facebook and Google ads and I rotate. But about nine months ago, I started talking about something that I think you are going to want to know. And that is that running an ad for home valuation landing pages on Facebook can be a useless exercise. You, one, may not get any leads, and two, they're going to be fairly bad quality leads. And so the reason why I'm scrolling down to like three months ago is I did two calls about best way to get listings from Facebook and a new strategy to get high quality listings from Facebook. And what it's referring to is how do you make this work? Because this doesn't work just by the default settings because you really can't target. And the short story is that you can create a custom audience that will live in your private Facebook account. You go here to the ads page and there will be a button. I'll show it to you in a second where you can create a custom audience. And I've got like a number of towns where I want to have business, right? What you want to do is click this button that says create audience and get a list for each one of those towns. So I live in Lafayette. I would want a list. And I want business in Lafayette. I would go create a list that says of all the Lafayette homeowners. Let me refresh this. This is acting weird again. And then once you've created that list and you call it Lafayette homeowners, when you're running an ad that's relevant to Lafayette, you target that ad, right? So you target that group. So if I click create an audience and I call it Lafayette homeowners or Pleasant Hill or whatever it is. We give you the format of what the spreadsheet should look like here. You upload it, you import it. It lives in your Facebook, right? So if you're running it out on Facebook for anything related to a homeowner, like one of our 40 PDF guides, you could say, I'll show you what you can do. You click create an ad. You want to lead out. So we get name, email, and phone number. And you click create an ad. You know, we're going to write it. But instead of typing in the location, you click retarget current leads and 
you type in the name of your audience, right? Now your audience is going to be, I don't know, Orlando homeowners or whatever, Cincinnati homeowners, right? Because whatever you create, called it, right? I've just got a custom audience here. And we're just doing that. So once it's there, that's the only people who are going to see it. So I want to put something together for you to think about. You remember when we started the call and I talked about this letter? I said, you can go out and buy that list. So you know who you're going to market to every month or every two weeks by print. You can upload that same list to Facebook so that you're targeting the same people. So they're seeing your brand and your value in print and on Facebook. This is a very smart way to approach your advertising. Okay. So that's, I think, everything I can say about Facebook. And our clients definitely like it. It's easy, but it does have its shortcomings, right? It's people weren't going there looking for answers on real estate. They were looking for whatever it is that their friends are doing, right? So when they were looking for an answer, they went to Google. And now you can say, I want to run a PDF guide, right? Again, on the 40, 40 things. things. So five dangers of overpricing. Let's do that. And then we create an ad and it looks different, but I will tell you this. So first of all, there is an upcharge on the Google software. It doesn't come with every package. When you click on create Google, it's going to ask you to subscribe for $30 a month. And you don't have to do that, but we make it really easy. I'm going to type in Lafayette, California. And when we click view link, we're going to see where this is going to show up, right? So here's the address and you give us the address when you're typing for yourself and you can download that report. So if you're running an ad, now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to just do it so we can all learn. These are the keywords that you are doing that you're buying. Right. Now you can add your own keywords, but this is a way to, to make the, this is what you're buying. So when you saw me type in the words, how do I sell my home and these people pop up, they're paying for these words, right? When you're running an ad here, these are the words you pay. You can change them. You can delete them. You can do that. But if you're going to not use our software and do this yourself, which you certainly can. You're going to need to know how to write it out on Google. And let me just tell you, it's hideous. All of these headlines, all of these descriptions, you need to build that out yourself in Google. And you see right here, like it's a nice white background, fairly easy to understand. If it's all blank, it might not be able to understand it. On Google, it's a nightmare. It's so ugly to understand what you do. So to do it the simple way which is just choose your landing page or your PDF guide and run an ad. Great. But I do want to point out, we have a $50 a day budget and we make it for seven days. You could potentially spend 350 bucks. And, but what we don't know, like when I gave you the price of leads on Facebook, I don't have enough knowledge to give you the price of leads across the country on Google specifically selling lead. What I can tell you is our clients in Dallas are being charged $30 of selling lead. Our clients are not unhappy about that because getting home homeowner leads for 30 bucks works out because they make a lot from their listings. So they're willing to invest to get those listings. And so you got to do some back of the envelope math to figure out how much you want to spend to get a lead, to get a listing, right? Because you're not going to close just one listing for one lead. You're going to need a hundred or something like that. So you need to figure out how that math is. I see some questions here. Are the automated ads also excluding certain keywords like rentals and keywords? I don't know about that, Javier. When you say the automated ads, do you mean like the ads I'm showing you right now or? Are you saying there is a way to have this automatically? Okay. For Google. 
No, it's not that complicated, Javier. We're not like saying excluding keywords or something. Like we're, but the word rental is not in there. So it wouldn't be relevant. If you saw, if you clicked on advanced options and you saw rental in there, it wouldn't, that would be a point of discussing, but we're not there. It shouldn't really be a factor. I hope that answers your question. It's, but I do want to point out Google is the number one website in the country. You don't have to use our software, but it doesn't matter what industry you're in. You could be selling cars, mattresses, eyelashes, or homes. You need to have a Google strategy. It is the number one website for, for the country. And you should definitely be having something about, you're going to be in real estate and you're not listing. So that's my message today, everybody. Just to wrap up. You can use your listings to capture listing leads. You can use our PDF guides to capture listing leads. You can use our landing pages to capture listing leads. And you can use print or ads for social media to do that or for Google. And I actually think you should do multiple pieces of this because what I don't, I haven't talked about that much. It's that. It's great to have an online ad strategy and a print ad strategy. There are different values, different quality for leads. It's very easy to capture a lead off of Facebook, right? It's just easy. Oh, I see this cool shirt. Maybe I want it. Okay. I'll get it. Right. But I wasn't actually going here looking for a shirt. It just happened to be right in front of me. And that's why it worked. But the lead quality may not be the best. And that's why if you're mailing to a unique list of homeowners, now your lead quality can get a lot higher, right? So you just want to think about that. There are some ways to build brand. There are some ways to get a lot of leads for a low cost. And there are some ways to get high quality listing leads, which take a little more time. Don't forget about our listing presentation, everybody. Are there any questions I can answer for you? One thing I forgot to mention, if you're a client, Use the support team, go to your support page in your account and ask them to get in the mastermind group. It's where Scott and I talk about the new technology that's coming down the fire. And it's also where our clients are running ads. And yeah, here's one. He says, Hey, I'm running an ad, but I'm getting no leads. So from what would Scott say? Hey, email support. But a lot of questions come in here from our clients. I would definitely, you can learn a lot here by seeing what's going on. So everybody, that's my story for how to get listing leads. Definitely use those tools that I've mentioned and let us know how we can help you. And I did mention our support team. They're down here at the bottom left and they're super awesome. Very helpful. That's the best way to get help. So definitely lean on. You are welcome, Donald. Okay. I don't see any more questions. So this call is being recorded. It will be on our YouTube channel and it will be on our mastermind group a little bit later today or tomorrow. Thanks everybody. Take care.